Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be learning a little bit about actually additions and getting started with it. Hope you guys are ready. All right, so today we're going to be working with, like I said, actually additions. And uh, over here, I just want to show you real quick. I went ahead and modified my uh, auto sieve and auto compressor and all that good stuff. I went ahead and had just uh, basically what I'm having doing. I'm, I'm getting an over stock of the compressed gravel um, basically because the sieve can't keep up you can speed it up by feeding it and it says a speed boost of 4.75 I'm sure that depends on the uh, type of food you feed so if you're giving them steak it may be even faster um, I went ahead and made some more of these hammers since I was getting quite a bit of diamond um, but what I did was I just followed my channels that I have set up here I uh, followed the channel system to basically eliminate a lot of the wiring and then uh, just did the same thing under here with different channels. There's tons of channels. Uh, I think every color in the game is there and basically it's just sieving and compressing and it's doing doing perfect on power. Like the power is fine. It's automatic, automatically regenerating itself with the coal that it's gathering. I still have the diamond uh, stiffen mesh in this one just because I want to get some more diamond uh, for the most part and then up here I'm using the iron stiffen mesh because it seems like the iron stiffen mesh mesh is our best bet for um, sand right now because it's going to give us uh, everything we need uh, except for copper we're not getting copper but we are getting more quartz enriched iron uh, which is awesome so we don't have to use any more of our quartz and we're also getting those these prosperity shards, which I don't know why I have w just one in here. I have a filter set up inside this one, uh, just getting the items that we we can't use. But this can go in here um, because it's making prosperity blocks. All right, so let's get into what I was going to, uh, what the episode's mainly about, and that's going to be actually additions. So in our actually additions, we have a few things that I want to get started with. And the first step for me will be the atomic reactor, um, or the, the, the atomic reconstructor, sorry. Uh, the, the atomic reconstructor is a pretty cool item. We're going to need black quartz, and to get black quartz, um, you need crushed black quartz. I think you get this from sieving. Yeah, sieving soul sand is how you're most likely going to get it. Um, but in normally, it would, it would in a normal world, it would show up as a block form, and then... Uh, you could smelt it or get the dust. You can even get the dust from sand using a, an iron siphon mesh, which we're working on right now. It didn't, this didn't show, oh, this is compressed dust. Sorry, dust. We'll uh, eventually switch this over to uh, sieve dust. So uh, we should probably do that soon. But like I said, Atomic Reconstructor, we actually have one. I think we got them through loot bags or we got them from sieving. Don't remember, but we should have everything except for sticks, of course. So, with sticks, go ahead and just craft 64 of them bad boys, and we'll have a stick there. Okay, and then we got our iron casing, and then uh, we'll just fill everything else up. Awesome. We're also going to need a button. Um, button is just stone. I think we have some stone in here. Yeah, we, we do, I think. Yeah, right here. All right, we'll get ourselves a button. And the butt, or actually, we also need a redstone torch. That's how a lot of this stuff is controlled, is with redstone torch. I'm um, just toggling different UIs, because all the UI is on the outside, not the inside of most of these most of these blocks, especially this one. All right, so what I what I need is, let's see, I don't know, I want to put this. By a source of power, so probably right here will be fine. Um, just having it here. Well, actually, let's let's go ahead and move this. I think. Oh, yeah, it's already getting a lot of power. Let's go ahead and break this block. Don't want it there. Let's go ahead and move this. Don't want that connected. There we go. And we'll just set this um, right here for now. And like I said, it will shoot, so turn this to pulse mode, and we'll just throw this button on here. Just like that. Alright, so we're going to need, let's see, any kind of block that it doesn't react with. 
Um, I think wood would work. I'm going to use uh, this cobblestone for now. And so I'm going to place the cobblestone right here. And we should be able to put our things here that we're going to change. So actually additions has a few things. Uh, I think uh, what I want to make is a uh, energy laser. Yeah, right here. Energy laser. I don't know which which one's the best. They're an advanced energy laser extreme. I think we want to just go with the plain energy laser. But it's going to require a bunch of redstone, some obsidian, advanced coil, and these redstonia crystals. And the redstonia crystals comes from redstone. So we're going to need that, and we're also going to need this basic coil, which requires more. So if the basic coil requires four. Alright, so that's four. And then just covered in iron, so four, five, six. So we're going to need six iron to be converted. So let's go ahead and get our six iron. Or not six iron, six redstone. All right, so we have six redstone. And if we take a look again, it tells us right here that it's going to require 40 RF per transfer. So... 40 RF uh, every time we convert one of these pieces of redstone. So what we can do is just, well, if we don't pick it all up, place it all down. Let me just place it down and run. Why do I keep picking it up so fast? I don't know if the focus sh sash has anything to do with that. Man, we just, there, maybe that'll work. Okay, that should work. And we just push the button. As you can see, they all convert. Pretty neat. Uh, this works with quite a few different blocks. If we looked and see what this is used for, um, it's used for, there we go. It converts redstone to the Rissonia crystal, the palace crystals from Lapis, does uh, all these different crystals that we're gonna need for crafting later on. There's the void crystal that I kept getting, getting armor made out of. As you can see, it's just made out of coal. It only requires 60 RF per piece. And then we've seen a lot of this. The uh, Inori, Inori, something like that. Uh, you can correct me down in the comments if you want. Uh, and then we have a bunch of different lenses that are pretty cool. Um, this one, probably won't ever see me use because uh, this, is, this is a pretty bad one. Lens of Destruction basically creates a TNT explosion. Um, not anything I'm looking interested, or not anything I'm interested in. And the lens of certain death would work in a mob grinder, but it's pretty expensive, you can see. Per shot requires 5,000 RF. And then it looks like we can convert these energy lasers and fluid lasers. Looks like we can convert our lasers over. That's pretty neat. And we can convert sand to soul sand. That costs 20,000 RF. That's pretty expensive. This is pretty neat. We can convert rotten flesh into leather. That would be useful, so we don't have to keep killing our cows. And then if we didn't have nether wart, that would be good. Oh! That's a way we can get the shards, even though I think we have enough. Uh, this is the shards that you get. Um, you can get them through loot bags, but they're required for the... Uh, for the, um, if I can think of it, the quarry that I've been wanting. And then uh, some canola seeds. Uh, canola seeds is something that I actually need to get a farm started on um, because that's how we're going to power some of this uh, actually addition stuff. But let's go ahead and craft up our energy lasers. Uh, I think we're going to need six more because I need, or actually it creates four, doesn't it? Yeah, it creates four. So never mind, we don't need that many. All right, so let's make our basic coil. And we'll go ahead and make two blocks of redstone. And I think we have nuggets, we do. And we should be able to craft these things. Awesome. All right, so right here I have a, uh, my, my, I made another furnace generator. And basically I have the items routed because also I was getting too much coal. It just was, it was filling this thing up and it was filling my chest up with coal. So I just routed the coal to come down to this chest, also changed my power. 
Now I have my uh, other power. It's just inside here uh, waiting to be used. But right now, I should be able to place this here. And then um, let's go ahead and remove this guy. Remove this one. And I think I can place this here. And we're also going to need another item, uh, which is a part of actually additions. It is the laser wrench. Now the laser wrench is going to require another advanced coil, so we're going to need two more of the redstone, and we're going to need this, which is two iron. So let's get our iron. We're going to need two iron and two redstone. Pretty simple. And we're going to do the same thing. Now, uh, like I said before, you can do all of them at once, and it can be all around and see it converts them all at once. You can also do block form later on if you want to, and that can also all be automated. All right, so let's throw this in, in here. Let me put my sash back on. I don't know what this sash is even used for, <laughs> but I do have one. I think I got it from a loot bag and I thought it looked pretty neat. All right, so back to what we were getting was the wrench. And we have those. We'll just make our coil. Oh, it requires four. We're gonna need two more redstone. I almost messed up. Okay, there we go. Can I make it? Yeah. There we go. Now, it will not work if you do not have enough power. That's the thing. It does know how much power it's going to need, which is pretty interesting. I'm not seeing a mod that does that. Oh, so we're actually going to need this black quartz. And like it says, you get it from Civic Soul Sand. Crushed black quartz. Also comes from loot bags. We might actually have some. Take some damage. We might actually have some over here. If I just take a look in my loot bag. If not, I think I have some soul sand I can sieve. Because we have tons of stuff and I need to I need to get more storage space. Yeah, I don't I'm not seeing any. That I can think of. Did they fix these old blue bags? I wonder. No, these bags are messed up for some reason. Okay. Don't see any in here. Oh, we do. We have some black quartz right there. Awesome. That we got from loot bags. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Perfect. Um, now we can go ahead and make that wrench. No time wasted. Alright. And then make this an advanced one. And we can make our wrench. Awesome. Now with the laser wrench, all you gotta do, click on this, and uh, you click on here and it connects. Um, you'll actually get some text that'll pop up, um, but I have my text turned off so you can't really see it, but it will it will pop up saying that uh, this laser is linked and then waiting, waiting for you to connect it to something else. Awesome. So now that these lasers are linked, it's actually getting power. So. If we put something in here that can cook, let's see, do we have anything that can be smelted or gra ground up? I think we have cobblestone. Cobblestone will be fine. So we'll take some cobblestone, we'll throw it in here. As you can see, it's working. It's grinding itself up, perfect. And it's using the power from here with no wiring, just this laser. And you can place blocks in front of it, as I'm going to show you right here. Um, we have our other laser. Let's just take it and hook it to this one. And then I'm going to connect this one to here. And as you can see, the laser is actually going through the blocks. It's not affected by the blocks. And this is now also receiving power. So let's go ahead and try something there. Let's uh, see something we can use. Um, Ender IO. Of course, there's tons of different metals that we're going to need with Ender IO. Um, we can do some pulsating iron. So we are always needing that. And it's just uh, Ender Pearl and iron. So we'll get some iron. We'll do five of those. Why not? And of course, we have like an almost an infinite supply of Ender Pearls. Due to the 
uh, mystical crops. So we'll plop this into alloy smeltering. And there we go. Also, to set up a simple automation with uh, this so you can have ores going in here and doubling, um, you basically go into the config. Right here, you'll set this to pull with a chest above it. Set this to push. It will push items that are ready to go into here and then have this one set up, which I don't want to do it right now. Um, but, I, well, I can show you. You can set this to pull and set the top to push. And then all of your items that you're getting will show up in this chest. Pretty simple. Um, and we're like right here, we have a bunch of items that I actually was sieving earlier because we're gonna need them later on. Awesome. And now we can basically have those sterling generators just sitting there for later use if we ever want to use them. Don't know if we ever will have a use for them though. But uh, there we go. Awesome, so you can see it's powering. It's not using, uh, it's not depleting any and it's using power out of our generator. And we can extend these. I think there is a limit on how far the blocks can go. I think it's 15. Um, so 15 blocks away, it will work up to 15 blocks away from the source, I think, of power. So that's pretty neat. We can even get rid of this cabling now. And uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and get rid of this cable. And we'll put one there. Oh, I think we have to make one, actually. So yeah, there's, we shouldn't do that. We'll have to make another one. I'll definitely make some more of these because they are so easy to make. But we, uh, we've we basically started actually additions. And I showed you some of the basic ways of getting started with it. Um, definitely these lasers work. There's also item lasers, fluid lasers. They all work the same way. There's advanced item uh, lasers, which will let you filter items and do stuff like uh, the Ender IOs will. Um, pretty neat. And they don't, I mean, these go through blocks. So you can have this laser going all the way across to this laser, uh, across to a laser over here, as long as it's within that 15 block area. And you have wireless, if you don't mind this laser, I mean, in the way, looking pretty cool. But uh, if you don't mind that, I mean, it's, it's pretty neat. Awesome. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching.